Hey beauties, welcome to my channel. I'm Brene and this is Bogish Beauty. So today I'm going to be doing something fun and exciting using the new Dose of Colors. I love Sarahi. Sarahi. I surprisingly have never heard of her or maybe I have, I just never knew who she was or seen her packaging, but she's beautiful. And she came out with this beautiful, beautiful palette. Like, it's gorgeous. This is the packaging. So the palette is very small. I was expecting it to be way bigger, although I've never owned anything from Dose of Colors. And this is what the colors actually look like. So they're really fun. Some are more on the traditional side, I would say. Very simple. Like the... I would say that these colors are very easy. Like there's two transitional colors, there are two matte shades. Then there's these two shimmer colors and then there's two full on decked out glitter sh colors. So the names are, God I hope I'm not saying any of this stuff wrong. Poquito Mass, Sun Glow, Wonderlust, Loungy, Palma, Finer's Keepers. And another cute thing, this palette or this brand is paraben, gluten, and cruelty free. First, we're gonna take Wonderlust. I'm gonna swatch for you guys. So this is Wonderlust. So then next, I'm gonna swatch Sun Glow. Pretty. Then I'm going to swatch Poquita Mass, or Poquito Mass. Mm. Let's try that again. Then I'm going to swatch Finders Keepers. I think that's right. Hopefully these colors actually show up when I use a primer. Mm. Then I'm going to swatch Palma, which is this gorgeous turquoise. That's pretty. And then last but not least, Loungy, which is this pretty glitter black. Oh my God, look at that. Okay, that's popping. So these are the six shades. I think they're pretty dope. I would take this on vacation, honestly. It's small enough. Now, I didn't know it was this small because I paid $35 for it. Because on Instagram, I was like, oh, that's a pretty big palette. No, sis. This palette is pretty small. But, I mean, it's going to be really hard to go hit pan with these, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm hoping. So I didn't get the whole collection just simply because I didn't think the whole collection was brown girl friendly. I tried on the two lip glosses. The lip glosses were called Brillo, which was this gold glittery gloss, and I also tried on the other gloss, which was called Very Nude, and it was very nude, <laughs> believe me. It was more, like, it wasn't catered for me, so I, I was like, no. Not even with a, a lip liner, couldn't even save it. That's how nude it was. So I opted out for those, and now the highlighters, I really tried, I mean, because they were so buttery and they're so pretty. The lip glosses were $17, by the way. So I wasn't gonna buy a gloss that I'm not gonna use and pay $17 for. The highlighters, I opted out for two because one advertised as like a rose peachy kind of vibe, and it showed up like really silver and ashy on me, and also, the one that was really gold apparently showed up silver and I tried like they felt so nice but they just looked so crazy like I swatched it on my arm and I was like okay and then I tried to like you know put a little on my face no I looked like the tin man or something so it wasn't it wasn't cute it wasn't cute and I could not see myself paying $28 times two for two highlighters that are not catered for me and $17 times two for two lip glosses that aren't catered to me. 
but I did get the palette because I felt I could work with that we'll see and I got three of the lipsticks because one of them was not they didn't one of the store had not received the other lipstick yet so since they had not received it I was only able to get three so I got Fressa which is this really bold red I'm gonna try all of these on for you guys so like a really bold red like it's almost like a coral coral Lee orange red which I've never owned before so I was like hey why not and also I got aesthetic which I love I love this color I loved it as soon as I saw it online even though I probably already have something like it I'm sure I, I think I do but it's okay I love it because my color that I have that I I'm thinking of is more on the orange side and this is more on the brown side the only thing I don't like so far is that I mean my my lip gloss or my lipstick is now stained because yeah I swatched those shadows and then I also got nude chica which we're gonna have to see with this one because I definitely feel like I need a liner with this but I was like you know a little Mac chestnut brown we can work with that okay so those are the swatches of everything that I purchased the things that I thought were brown girl friendly the other lipstick that they did not have is called peachy with two eyes or something like that and I think that it is really it's really cute I didn't get to swatch it but I mean if it's in the store I might go back and get it and show you guys at a later date so let's get into this eye look. I don't really know what I want to do, but I do want to use this blue. So today I'm going to be using the P. Louise Eye Base. I got shade number five. This is the deepest shade that they do have. And I am just going to put that on my eyelids. I am going to take Finders Keepers. I'm going to put that in my crease. Okay guys, so I just went in with Finders Keepers in my crease. So then I'm going to take the shade Poquito Moss and I'm going to put that like right below where I put that in my crease. So right here. So I think that blend quite nicely. So then I'm going to take Palma, this really pretty blue. So I'm going to actually take a little bit more of the P. Louise primer. I'm going to take the number one primer. I got it in white too. So I'm going to take that pretty blue shade and I'm just going to, oh my god, wow. The color payoff is literally bananas. Okay beauties, so the blue is kind of irritating my eyes just a little bit. It's like a little itchy. If it wears like this for the rest of the day and it's itchy, then I might be allergic to it. So yeah, sad face. So I'm going to take the pretty sparkling black shade. Hopefully this one isn't like that. And I'm just gonna put it in the outer corner here. Or like kind of on my lids still. And I'm going to take a little bit of the other color and just kind of blend it. Blend it out and up. So this is the look that I have created. 
using that palette. Now I'm gonna get into the rest so we can finish this thing off. Okay, beauty, so this is the final eye look. It looks better off camera, I think. It isn't irritating my eyes anymore, so I'm just hoping maybe, cause it's a little wet, like a little creamy kind of consistency, so I'm hoping maybe that it just had to dry down, but it's not really irritating me anymore, so I'm gonna just move along. So once again, I'm gonna be using the Lancome Skin Feels Good, and sorry you guys, I have to put my lashes on off camera sometimes, because I never know if it's gonna be a good lash day or a bad lash day, so I just kinda go off script a little bit. Oh, I love how this feels. Then we're gonna move on to the bronzer. So then bronzer, then we move on to blush. And for highlighter, I'm gonna switch it up today. I'm going to be using the Stardust by Chelsea Worthy. I know you guys probably have heard of her. She does the trap tutorials. I just wanna switch it up today. I don't wanna do Trophy Wife. I'm trying to, you know, explore my horizons a little bit or expand them. Oh, this is popping. Okay, so now we're gonna try on these lips and then we'll be done. Actually, before I move on to trying on the lips, I want to finish off the eyes by putting some on my under eye and putting some in my tear duct to give it a little bling, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to take my MAC Fix Plus and I'm gonna spray my brush and I'm going to dip into that blue shade Gorgeous. And then in the center, I'm going to take another brush, also spray it with the MAC Fix Plus, and I'm going to take Wonderless. So gorgeous. Okay, so first I think I'm going to try on Fressa, which is the red, because I know I don't want to wear red today. I'm kind of feeling it. This is a really bold, this is not that bold of a red, but it's like out of my comfort zone red. So... It's more of a pink corally red, and I like a more blue red, but this is Fressa. So then next I'm gonna take Nude Chica. A 
Okay, definitely gonna need a liner for nude Chica. So I'm gonna take chestnut. Not really sure how I feel. I guess it's cute. This is Nude Chica with chestnut lip lined, but it kind of alters the color. Okay, and last but not least, I'm gonna go in with Aesthetic. And I like this, but I don't really like it with this look. So I will be switching back to Nude Chica. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and most importantly, have a bogus day beauties.